I was blessed with the opportunity to share a couple of lectures this week with with schools of broadcasting. And in one of the the lectures, I, I spoke of what podcasting is, because so many people have this vision of what they think it is, but they haven't lived the path. And I'm not talking about seven episodes or even 25 or 50 episodes. I'm talking about living the path for years, over a decade. And, and I, I shared with them the analytics of, of what a podcast does. And, and, and part of those analytics showed who is listening to what in this present place of now. And they were blown away by things that were shared that are in the top 10, the top 10 most listened to podcasts that I have coming from 2014, 16, 2012. And they're going, there's nothing in there from 2022? No, no. Because what we do in the present place of now with a podcast is you plant the seed and you have to allow the digital waves to allow it to grow. So I don't know where you are on the map right now. It is it is April 1st, 2022. I'm sure there are people all around the world doing April Fool's jokes because that's just what this generation does. But I don't know where you're hanging out. I don't know the, the circumstances of your present world. And the goal as a podcaster, communicator, a writer, an author, is to share a conversation that you can plant, that you can hold on to, that you can go into the bathroom, stare at yourself in the mirror and say, thank you, somebody finally spoke the language that I have been seeking. That's what it's all about. Hey, it's Arrow. This is The Daily Mess, a chronological walk through an everyday world. I am a daily writer. Do you think I enjoy doing this? No, I was called to do this. July of 1994, I was thrown in front of, of a tablet. And, and whatever's out there, the universe, God, whatever you believe in, said, put the junk down, dude. Start writing. I'll, I'll, you, you, I, I need someone just to take some notes. And you got to put it in your street speak. And, and, and it, somebody may like it. Somebody may not. Just do as I tell you. Don't do what you think. Do as I say. Because I am the way. That's what I heard in my heart. I am the way. That's what the universe, that's what God said to me in my heart in July of 1994. I am the way. And I am to write. So I do. This is the daily mess. The weight of the weight. My God. Waiting is so heavy. Have you ever been so hungry at a fast food restaurant that you're just going, come on. The weight of of the wait. We're always waiting for something in an I want it now society. Not even Amazon can bring it to you as fast as you would like it to be in your hands. Hey, I remember when Domino's used to say, it'll be at your house in 30 minutes or you don't pay for it. They don't say that anymore. McDonald's isn't fast food either. They blame their inability on, well, we, we don't have enough employees. Man, I would love to do some research. I'd love to go behind the scenes on these businesses that say, we can't find employees. I just don't believe that. I do not and I will not believe that. What, what I will believe is that they are bottom lining their business. We can only have so many employees. And then if somebody says, well, why? Why is there only one cash register open? Well, we, we can't find enough employees. I'm going to be open and transparent with you. I have enough people come up to me on a daily basis in the position that I hold and they say, I have applied for a job in this business so many times and nobody is answering me. And yet I will hear those above me. We can't find anybody. And you're going, who's lying here? Who's <laughs> The mail delivery service is never the same two days straight. Some days they arrive at 1 o'clock. Other days they arrive at 6 p.m. They're never on time. And, and it's never the same. The weight of the weight. We want this war in Ukraine to be over. It's yesterday's news. Get it over with, man. Don't tell me that it's 36 days into this. No, we, we, we don't want it. We're tired of waiting for the peace. Somebody's got to say the right thing. Get this thing over with. Well, that can't happen until we figure out why this disaster in history has even taken place. Does anybody know? Maybe you do in the future. What, what happened? 
send us a text message or do you do that in the future is there something new oh man you're so lucky you're so lucky who is going to pay for the rebuilding of a nation that has been torn apart like ukraine how do you invite the millions that once made it vibrant and free to come back home we almost never hear of the stories of those that are returning. Okay, a few do, but we don't hear of the massive amounts of people who left. We don't hear about them coming home to rebuild. The weight of the weight. Look at the billions of dollars spent on the Powerball lottery. Billions of dollars. These people believe that one day they're going to be rich. I believe them. I, if you believe that much, that deeply, that you're going to be rich one day, it, it's going to happen. I, I, it has to. You believe it. You believe it. These people believe that one day they're going to be rich. They're waiting, man. How about the Christians that keep hearing about the second coming of Christ? We hear it every Sunday. God is coming. I've been waiting 60 years. Kind of, Kind of a long wait, don't you think? That's the wait of the wait. How do we release the weight of the weight? Well, you've got to live in the moment. You've got to be in the presence of the present. This is probably getting way off the line here. Um, my family lives on Ryan Avenue in Billings, Montana. My oldest brother, Danny, moved into that home when he was eight years old. He's um, He's got to be over 70 now. He's, he has to be. But, but 70 years, th this road has always been a dirt road. And in the past two or three weeks, the graders have come. They're grading the land. They're going to put curb and gutter in. And they're, they're, they're going to put sidewalks in. 70 years later, they're finally going to pave Ryan Avenue in Billings, Montana. The houses are run down. They're rugged. They're ugly. I mean, they look like they're 70 years old. Oh, my God. God. And the only thing I can figure out is that the city planners are saying, we can knock these homes down, put new ones in, get more money in that part of the county, and raise taxes. The weight of the weight. I don't know how I'm going to handle it when I go back to Ryan Avenue in Billings, Montana, and see a paved road, something that I dreamed of as a child. I remember being in that home knowing that we weren't a very rich family. We were very poor. But seeing that dirt road was a daily reminder of how poor we really were. We didn't live in a house. My father always made it a home. I wish he would have been alive to see that Ryan Avenue is finally being paved. Both my mother and father, maybe they, maybe they went to the leaders in heaven and said, what the hell gives here, people? Really? Seriously? Come on! Because my mom's that way. She is. She patiently would wait for the right moment by removing the weight from the weight. She lived in the moment of now. I'm Errol, and that's The Daily Mess.